we actually came out of this year's budget collaborations pretty good. One additional thing was added for our Keep Dallas Beautiful program, which was the, another $400,000 budget infusion and three positions, project coordinators for our uh, marketing and outreach team. Here we got our demolition funding increase, which was needed for the department, uh, as well as several new positions for new programs uh, related to short-term rentals and, and things of that nature. So we, we fared pretty well this budget season. Just learning about all of those dollars and those contracts and um, having to be a good steward of those dollars throughout the year and make sure that you know our team was being responsible for their performance expectation and we were able to supplement our services with contracts as necessary was key for us having a successful year this year. The new fee ordinance did pass in September, which is actually a good thing for the city of Dallas, city of Dallas taxpayers and residents. Um, that fee ordinance is done every, every three years and in coordination with a third party vendor, a consulting group that we bring in uh, to, to look at our fees and to compare what we're charging for the services we provide and the things that we do to uh, national averages, what is the going rate of those services, and they look at you know what resources are allocated to providing those sources, and they, they kind of put a dollar amount of cost to those services that we provide and determine at what level our fees should be. Uh, we have to be engaging with our customers, we have to be engaging with our residents, we have to be engaging with each other, building those relationships and, and building bridges across uh, departmental lines and so that we can be more efficient and we can provide a better service to our residents.